In this YouTube video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the importance of using a proxy with Javi or any other automation bot with Instagram. I'm also going to be talking to you guys about the best proxy that you can use with Javi. And I'm going to be showing you evidence because I use this proxy too. I'm going to be showing you guys evidence that despite this recent Instagram block wave, my accounts are all running smoothly due to my high quality proxy and my great settings. Following that, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how many accounts you can run per proxy. And then I'm going to finish off by showing you how to set up your proxy with Javi. Enjoy the video, guys. What is going on guys, the Cash Creator is back with another video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about proxies, alright? So first things first, let me show you the evidence that my proxies are working smoothly. These proxies are the ones that I'm using and I'm going to tell you why I think that they are the best proxies for Javi. Alright guys, so here are some of the trial accounts that I'm just running. I run these for tests, okay, to just test and make YouTube videos about them and just test their growth. As you can see, they are all growing. They've got thousands of followers in between them, okay? So let's go into the tools section over here. I am in the tools section now, and as you can see, I, after the follow blocks, you know, a lot of people are getting action blocks, like blocks and everything. As you can see, my accounts are recovered, and that's partly due to great settings, which you can see in the rest of my videos. Go on the link in the description, and it shows best Instagram settings for Javi, and also, along with great settings, great proxies okay if you have the best settings but you have poor proxies you will get like blocks you will get action blocks and you will get phone verifications so you need good settings and good proxies i have both of those and that is why as you can see i'm using the story viewer i'm using the unfollow tool i'm using the follow tool um very very successfully as you can see the new limits are around 200 a day if you do more than that you know, there's a chance, a greater chance that you will get blocked. So it's not worth it. Just stick to limits around 200. And as you can see with these accounts, you know, they're around 196, 194, and then some in the 50, 150s. Okay. Just keep them, you know, slowly growing by five to 10 each day until they get around 200. Okay. So here is the evidence of the fact that I am using high quality proxies with Javi, okay and i'm going to be showing you my proxies that i use there are a link in the description um but I'm, before i do that i'm going to talk about proxies themselves okay let's leave that later on okay so proxies now why are they so important why do you need proxies okay so first and foremost you guys need to understand what exactly a proxy is all right now a proxy is basically a server that is located somewhere in the world with its own unique id okay um and whenever you visit instagram they will see your id okay the ip address of your pc for example will be known to instagram and through the ip address they will know where you guys are located so for example i'm located in england and if i use my own computer with my own wi-fi for example instagram will know i'm located in england okay and um, for this reason if i'm using five or ten you know or 15 instagram accounts with javi okay with the same ip address without a proxy Okay, Instagram will know that all 15 of these accounts are being run on one IP address by the same person, you know, sitting somewhere in England, okay? And they don't like it when you do this because they think you are using it for spam or automation and they will not like it. And for that reason, they will block you, okay? So you can not, you know, run multiple Instagram accounts with the same IP address, which is the reason you have a proxy because a proxy gives you a unique ID, ID, okay, and as you can see in this picture, our laptop has, our, has its own IP address, but the proxy server has its own separate IP address, okay, and if you have, for example, three different accounts, you know, or 30 or 50, all of them have different proxies and they all have different IP addresses, you can run them from the same computer with Javi and Instagram will think, you know, that they are you know all different accounts in different parts of the world okay or in different cities or in different you know because they have different ip addresses okay as each proxy is unique okay so that's basically 
why you guys need a proxy. All right. Now, that's why you need a proxy to prevent the blocks. Okay. Now, next thing, there are some instances where you may not need a proxy. Okay. So, for example, um, if you are only running one account on Instagram, you don't need a proxy because you're allowed to run one account on one IP address. Okay. And even if you're using automation, for example, you know. A lot of people, you know, they don't use Javi, but they just follow loads and loads of people every single day. So it doesn't really matter. All right, guys. Um, however, if you have two to three accounts, OK, there is a chance that you need to use a proxy because, you know, um, if you're using two to three accounts with automation and they have high, you know, risky settings, um, you know, Instagram may suspect you and there's a chance of blocking you. OK, so next thing, if there's four to five on the same, you know, on the same IP address without a proxy, OK, um, I would say that you do, again, probably need a proxy because it's getting riskier. OK, and then more than five, definitely, you definitely, definitely need a proxy. If you are using Javi, <laughs> OK, you need a proxy. OK, with one account, you don't need a proxy. Two to three with Javi, mm, you, you know, maybe four to five. You, it's risky, you might get away with it, but you're pushing your luck, and then 5 plus, definitely, okay? Now, how many accounts can you guys run per proxy? This is another important question that I always get asked. The least risky method is to use one account with one proxy, okay? So each account has its own unique ID, okay? This is the least risky method, and this is the method that I would recommend, okay? Due to the Instagram block wave that started in June, you know, that a lot of people are getting action blocks, live blocks, API blocks, okay? I would definitely recommend this, recommend this method, only one account per proxy. However, I have in the past, you know, used two accounts per proxy, okay? And it's a bit riskier, but it's a high risk, high rewards, you know, because you save money and it's cheaper, okay? So this is a gray area, maybe you'll get away with it. Four to five is definitely risky and you will come across with bans, ver phone verifications, action blocks. And definitely, if you're running more than five accounts per proxy, I guarantee you, you won't last more than a day without getting banned. Unless you're using a mobile proxy 4Gs or residential proxies, okay? But if you're using normal proxies, a private proxy, data center proxy, any similar proxy, okay, you need one account per proxy or max two, okay? Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys, like I said, about the preferred proxy that I use is a link in the description. It's high proxies. OK, it's social media, private proxy, virgin proxies. OK, um, now that's what I'm going to go into next. I've talked to you guys about what a proxy is, whether you need a proxy. OK, so if you're running only one account, you don't need it and how many accounts you need per proxy. OK, so the next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is the actual proxy itself this is the one that i use i've shown you guys evidence that my accounts are running smoothly these test accounts that i'm doing they're all running smoothly without any action blocks without any follow blocks etc etc so due to my great settings and my great proxies i am getting results okay so same thing for you guys what i would do is i would click the link in my description okay it takes you straight to this page okay and i recommend using these ones okay go on over here buy proxies and then click buy social media proxies there are also private proxies and shared proxies but i do not recommend them these social media proxies are the best in the business okay um they are the best they are fast they're reliable they're cheap okay um and there's loads and loads of different locations so whether you're in us or you're in europe or canada or even japan there are proxies at these locations okay so um, if you need one proxy, it's £3.20, $3 five is $15, the more you get, the cheaper it is. And then 10, if you're getting 10, 10 proxies, for example, it is $28, okay? And like I said, with these proxies, I would recommend using one account per one proxy. But if you want to be a bit riskier, you know, you can do two per proxy, okay? So if you get 10 proxies, you can run 20 accounts if you want to be risky. If you want to be really risky, you can run 30, okay, three per proxy, but I wouldn't recommend it, okay? Right now, I'm running one account per proxy with Javi, and as you can see, these are all smooth settings. There are no red eyes here. So if this is red, for example, that means that you have a like block uh, or a follow block, for example, on this one. If it's red, as you can see, there are no red marks. I have not been follow blocked or anything. These are great proxies and great settings. All right, guys, so the final thing in my video that I'm going to be showing you guys is how to set the proxy up. What you do is you go in the proxy manager over here, 
Now I've only shown unassigned proxies because you know the I'm not showing the assigned proxy which is the proxy that I'm using uh, so I don't reveal my username and password and then um, trolls can for example use my proxy and then mess up my account so I'm not going to be revealing the proxy that I'm using okay the username and password but all you have to do is very simple you simply add a proxy click the add proxy button and then another row comes over here okay um, you simply put the port in you put the username and then you put the password following that um, you simply click on the social profiles that you want to add this proxy click add and then click verify proxy okay it's that simple you will get all of these you will get the IP port the username and the password from high proxies they will give that to you and then you simply add the social profiles from here whichever social media profiles you want to use that proxy you simply add it okay let me go into the proxy manager so like I said if you want um, one account per proxy you need to click this add proxy thing 10 times so there's 10 different okay you usernames and passwords because you're gonna get 10 different proxies okay um, that's how you do it um, thank you for watching this video I do hope you enjoyed if you did please don't forget to leave a like comment and a subscription the link is in the description for my settings the best Java settings for Instagram and that's the link to use the proxies high proxies okay guys please do check this proxy out because it's awesome it's working for me and I really want to help you guys out to succeed on Instagram so make sure you check it out this is the cash creator signing out peace out guys